episode of MPV. It's your dude, young dude in the building with my co-host. Oh, real, that's real with two E's. You already know how we rap. Yeah, we, yeah, we got a few guests in the building. You know, he, man, he beer so much I can't even say guests. <laughs> my nigga, Roby Bro. Bro. Damn right. <laughs> we got my dog, Blue Beats, in the building. Hey, what's up? You already know. Ain't got my fam, Z. What up, what up? z -Low. You know it. Gonna let them know, shit, man. Hey. It's a motherfucking day, boy. Yeah, yeah. Shit. So, yeah. how, how y'all feeling today, first off, man? First four months. Oh, man, it's all good, man. You know, uh, happy to be here with you brothers, man. man we keep this going is. each and every week. Yes, yes, yes. That's real. That's real shit, man. Hey, I know one thing, though. Talk to Y'all, Y'all saying that shit with, uh, we, we talked about it briefly on the last show. Shit, that, that, that boy <coughs> Tony Savage. Yeah, yeah, that that shit crazy, man. I thought a motherfucker was bullshit when they first talked about Yeah, man, that's real. Man, y'all, so, what, like, what you thought, think about, about him going straight to UK? You now, know, I don't remember. Um, uh, it's an unfortunate situation because he got family that's dependent on. But, you know, when you're an adult, man, you got to be up on top of your stuff, man. You can't be walking around out here. That's like me talking bro, about right but, now. But, but what y'all don't realize, bro, is that dude shit been pending for four years. Why they have his visa pending for that long? Mm. Why then, he wasn't following up on the people on this? Bro, but when he tried to, he tried to do something else to make his shit go through. And that's when they realized that his shit expired. And that's when they locked him up. Mm. He was trying to do the right thing. Then they locked him up. Okay. So, okay. so that's what's so that's crazy. I don't know the most. I can't speak on that situation. Right. So right. I don't because, know the right. details. See, that's what I said yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what's so crazy yeah. about yeah. the exactly. whole thing, man. Because it's like, dude shit pending for four years. And when he go and check up on it and try to get the shit resolved, that's when they want to lock him up. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they all out. He had a gun and he had this and he had that, man. They just, they just out there. I got something to say. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what y'all think of why I feel like every time one of our entertainers or whatever, and I, you know what I'm saying? Amongst the, uh, amongst the, the, the our black community, we just don't keep it a hundred. Yeah. And our black people, when they start doing good, they find something on them. Like, it's just, it's yeah. just, yeah, I just, I don't know, it seems like it's starting to be consistent to me. I don't well, know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's that's why I say 21 Savage. Shout out to 21 Savage. But in the end, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he did nothing wrong because, like I said, this man been famous forever. It ain't like he just got famous last week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. But they didn't go look for all this when he was saying pull up and earn it out. Well, I got all the money and all this money in my bank account. Mm. But as soon as he starts saying I'm going to stop wearing jewelry, right. doing it for the community, now let's go pull up his visa. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then, come on now. It's just the time, you know. Yeah, he, started, yeah. he started talking about. He started talking about ICE, bro. He started talking about yeah. the immigration laws and all this. Okay, shit. Okay, so let's get him now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's go get him. What you saying, Blue? Yeah, I hope the situation get resolved, man. Cause everything Trump on with the ICE and the immigration and how they doing all these immigrants, man. Um, and he got felonies too, bro. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know if he gonna make it back over here. I'm running for a situation, though, man. Hey, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when yeah. he got that feeling, he should have been gone in. Like, so you can't, like, you, can't, you can't walk that back. You can't yeah. You can't tell yeah. me because I got this feeling. Five years ago. Yeah. Like, nah, dog. Uh -huh. nah, I heard the feeling was expunged off his record. Exactly, bro. They just so trying to pull up. Feeling. They trying to pull yeah. up shit to keep him in there, bro. That's why Jay-Z hopped on that shit real quick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Shout yeah, out that's to old. Real shit. Shout yeah. out to old, man. Jay-Z a real man. motherfucker. Every time yeah, some, man. some black people that's going that's through what I'm saying. Know, some bullshit, he on it. He on it. He's like, hold on, y'all. Let me step up and show y'all, man. We, we got our own people back, y'all. Yeah, and I will give him that. He needs to, he needs to tutor the soldier. Big soldier. Hey, big soldier. Big Draco. Shit. Got him up. The whole situation messed up, bro. Like, man, we gotta we gotta be able to do better as a as a people, man. Like, yeah. cause shit, we already the minority. Shit, pretty soon Hispanics, Asians, a lot of people finna pass us up, bro. Like, shit. 
We got to we gotta get up on, yeah. on our shit. We so, so how y'all say, okay. We only the minorities because they separating, for, <coughs> separating everybody for real because see, there's more colored motherfuckers exactly. than white people for exactly. real. So for real, white people exactly. are the minorities. Okay, see, have y'all seen that, 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 uh, that, 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 that Killer Mike interview on Breakfast Club? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shout out to Killer Mike. Shout out to Killer Mike. Killer Mike got a series on Netflix, too. Yeah, yeah. Check it out recently. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, y'all feel like what he was saying about how that desegregation kind of, it, it fuck shit around like from the even with the sports, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Having basketball or baseball, you know, and having to integrate, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it kind of took away from the money that we had spent as a whole community. Like you know, you. I see where I see where he was coming from. I see exactly where he was coming from. What he was saying, you know what I'm saying? But also too, you know what I'm saying? You it when you do stuff like that, you don't know the outcome. Like when you segregate, like when they came up with the plan to segregate, you know what I'm saying? To to make it like that, you don't know. With the desegregate, you don't know the plan. You know what I'm saying? Like I see what you said. Like once they put everybody together, they took away from the, from the, you know what I'm saying? From our community and all living at the same time. When Martin Luther King fought for it, you know what I'm saying? He didn't think of like, all right, once they get them together, they still gonna treat them like they ain't nothing. But see, you know what, what I'm saying? What did he fight for? Did he, and like, did he win? That's the kick. Right. That's the that's the point. Did he did he accomplish what he fought for? Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. shout out to Black History Month. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Accomplished yeah. a lot. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the fight that he uh, that we want was incomplete, but he accomplished a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. It, it's just all about bro. Shit evolved, man. Like shit in the '60s, their problems, right? Ain't the same problems I, that we absolutely. face today. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So like, it's like he he could foresee like. All right, economic oppression. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's you know what I'm saying? To yes, this type yes, of level, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like that one in the plan. From the government standpoint, yeah. all of the desegregation and all that was more of a economic type of thing instead of a moral type of oh, we yeah. feel bad, we doing the wrong thing type exactly. of shit. Type of uh, you know know like, it's like it's just another another form of slavery, bro. Like all right, let, let's keep let's keep this certain amount of money in their hand in their reach. You know what they'll be happy with. But we gonna make it harder for them to jump up to this level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like when you talk about the housing shit, bro. You talk about you talking about Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? Before it became well, what's that fucking park they got in New York? What's that shit called? Uh, Central Park. Park. Yeah, yeah. Central Park. exactly. Before that shit was, shit, shit was Central Park. It was a big ass black community right there. You know what I'm saying? But now they come through. Let's get y'all up out of here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We can't see y'all prospering. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all moving above what we set y'all at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, bro. That's the thing. That's the that's that's one thing about it. you know. It's, it's always it's, it's always levels to everything when you dealing uh-huh. with people with, with money. Yeah, yeah. 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 levels to everything. Like you not gonna see average people dealing with people that got big papers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You not gonna see them even conversating with each other. Right. You know different circles. Can't talk yeah. about the same. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But see, how can you get yourself involved in those circles? Exactly, and that's the catch. It shouldn't be like that though. I'm not saying that like that's right. You know what I'm saying? That the that you can't talk to an average person when you got money or you feel like you too big to talk to. That's not right. I'm just saying like that's the way it is though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? It's yeah. just that's the way it is, bro. Well, I think most of the time it's topics and conversations and just right. you know, they, feel like they, they feel like they can they can't talk to you. They, they, can't, they, they feel can't. like they can't relate. Like not not necessarily that they can't relate, but it's certain things that might not be seen in the same light. Exactly. Like if I'm like if a person wanna to talk to you about some stocks and you like Exactly shit, I don't know if you, you never touched the stock yeah. or never even you know looked into a stock. So you don't even know what he's talking about, you know? Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's a coincidence that you know what I'm saying, there's so many of all black people that can't speak their language and don't own homes and stocks and you know what I'm saying, yeah. businesses and exactly. shit. Exactly. Yeah. And one thing I do say now Compared to back then, what Dr. Martin Luther King and I don't really fall for, we have more opportunities to do yeah. more stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, you actually have people in our community with good jobs. It might not be a good job to where they live in their life of the rich and famous, but they comfortable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, back then, it wasn't even jobs to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't come at home comfortably. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I man. mean, they had, but it was just four and in between. My, my whole thing is that is that something that we really want or is it just natural progression? Thank you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I, I was getting at. 
like she can't nothing is gonna stay stagnant you know what i'm saying like like a river go always flow you might put a dam right there uh an otter or a beam or whatever <laughs> but might build something right there might slow it down but that she still go flow bro it's the same way with life man like it's just natural progression but it's like we still gotta like our pay ain't the same i can be a ceo of a company but i ain't finna make 20 million a year and do the same job as that white man do nah they gonna slash my shit all right, we might give him 10, we might give him 12. That's still a lot of money, yeah. but it ain't what I'm worth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't no doubt. So it's like, it's like, shit, we still, we still got to fight for show. everything, bro. Coming I ain't yeah, no doubt. It's, it's, I never, you know, something, it's always going to be harder for us, period. It's always going to be harder for us, and I acknowledge it, and I see that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, just to even be able to, like, prime example, a lot of kids back in the days, like, back in those days, they couldn't even go to school comfortably. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people, our people, our children now are choosing not to go to school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even have mm-hmm. that option. You see what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like, say most definitely the, the type of racism and the way it is is most definitely different. I won't mm-hmm. say that it's gone or it's mm-hmm. ended. But, it, I mean, I ain't walking down the street. This white man ain't looking at me wanting to just hang me. Exactly. Me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's slowly yeah, yeah, that, that's that's slow coming white man. back, it's some. It's just slowly coming he back. He probably huh? want to hold me out from an opportunity or something. Right. Shit, you know what I'm saying? But he don't want to. The average motherfucker, the nigga in Walgreens, don't want to just hang me right there. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know what you're saying, though. I know what you're saying. Exactly. But, no, it's still some. It's probably still I mean, some nigga haters out here, though. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of them. Yeah. Like, even inside our own culture, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, that's the case. And, and that's, that's the one case. thing that kills me, man. It's like back then when our people was coming up, it's like, bro, you had block parties, it wasn't no, yeah. it wasn't none of House man. Party. Exactly, man. Everybody used to kick it in. Like it. It's yeah. always somebody. It's always somebody in tour with somebody, and we always use that same excuse that every race has inner beefs. You, you need to stop man? using that excuse, nah. man. Like. Like that makes it cool to go down the street and kill them innocent kids while you were shooting at this dude, but you missed him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta stop using it as an excuse. It's, it's, it's inner so beast. Fucked up it's inner I'm, beast I'm, between I'm, everybody. Like, yeah, we gotta stop saying. What you think about that, wrong about that interracial uh, or, or within our own race having having that issue? Do you think it's just yeah? Well, you know, with us, you know, we still got deep rooted issues from you know that's residual from back in the day. It's gonna we always gonna feel it. Um, just the other day, you know, when I was at the job, um, a couple white guys, you know, when they, I was, we, were, we was like, hey, we gonna go out to lunch to this restaurant. We go to the restaurant, I walk in, man, and I still felt it. And right in St. Peter's, mm-hmm. man, I felt it when I walked in. It was a, uh, I forget the name of the little bar. It was like a little bar, bar and grill out mm-hmm. in St. Peter's. Mm-hmm. And when I walked in, man, I was feeling uncomfortable. I was you uncomfortable. Yes, sir. Uh, and I, so I left, you know what I'm saying? I, I told the boys to jump, man, I'm good, man. I'm gonna give me some Popeyes. You know, we still gonna feel it. I still feel it as a black man just walking around out here. So I know everybody else, y'all gotta feel it too. Uh, I mean, cause that's, that's one thing I don't think that a lot of uh, our other people that we deal with just in different races and, and nationalities, they, they see that when they go into certain places amongst white or Caucasians, they don't, yeah. they're not completely stirred at like, nigga, the fuck you doing? It was just the energy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, feel the energy. Feel it. it's, it's a vibe. A, it was a tension in the yeah. earth. It's yeah. like, it's like, well, you got the audacity to walk in here. Yeah, you know what pretty, what much, pretty much, pretty much. It's like, it's like and you, can, you can feel that, bro, like, back home where I'm from, you know what I'm saying, Mississippi, bro, it's like, you go down there and you just feel that history, like you look at them cotton fields, bro, and you just you just feel that history, bro. And like all them old ass hymns start coming to you, like you, you could just picture mm-hmm. the, the struggle that your people then went through to cultivate this big ass field, bro, uh, and not get nothing in return. Mm-hmm. But then you drive around the city and be like, we really built all this, you know what I'm saying? But we, we, have, ain't, we, we ain't got no deeds, we ain't got no lands to none of it, bro. But it's just like, and then they wonder why we feel like we supposed to be proud. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be proud, bro. Because if it weren't for us and my people, shit, this shit wouldn't be here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the United States would be shit. So damn right, I'm gonna be proud, and I'm gonna walk into any establishment I want to. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna look you in your shit. If you man enough or woman enough to look me in my shit and be like, you gotta leave, I'm gonna look you in your shit and be like, I ain't gotta go nowhere. Mm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Girl, that's, that's a beautiful thing, yeah, man. Exactly. It's something to be proud of. This shit that yeah. genetically we got and do that, other motherfuckers can't. Bro, we blessed, man. 
everything, everything we do, everything we touch, we bless. If we put our mind on anything, bro, we bless. You know and that's what I'm why I say I, I can't stand this motherfucker. What the fuck is his name? The motherfucker that tried to be uh, president, the black dude, vice president. What the fuck is his name, man? He was the, he was the, he was the surgeon that uh ben Carson. Yeah, yeah. I met, I met this white guy. I, I can't stand Ben oh, Carson. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> if I was his mama, I'd be slapping the shit out. Of him. <laughs> but you notice, you notice, he, he found a cure for cancer, and he couldn't even speak about that throughout his campaign. He couldn't tell people, yeah, I'm back in, in the 80s, I was the doctor that discovered the cure for cancer. What? He didn't uh, talk about that. You know, that would have helped his campaign, I would have thought. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? that would hell no. Nah. Not to me. Not to me, because how you gonna tell, how you gonna say that I found it and I ain't help you? Nah, bro, how you gonna say that Barack Obama didn't open doors for you to even consider about being a president, bro? That's that's the dumbest shit in the world to me. It's like, it's like, all right, motherfucking, the nigga that invented fucking basketball. It's like, how you gonna say that this man ain't opened up doors for you, but he invented this shit. You know what I'm saying? He came up with this shit. If Obama became the first black president, now all of a sudden, oh shit, he did it. I can do it too. Right. That's what every nigga in the world thought when right. he became president. But for you to sit your black ass up and be like, nah, he made it harder for me. How he make it harder for you? That's why he less pressure exactly. being the second black president. Honestly, 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 I've never heard Obama say out his mouth, I'm black. I've never heard him say that. I've never heard him say that. <laughs> Why, but why I he understand he, don't have a, because he do have a black wife and he has black children. So I respect him for that. But I've never heard him say, I'm black. He's dead. He's dead. He's the blackest nigga. The black is we are the main, yeah. main culture. Yeah, man. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's true. Yeah, that's true. Come on, Much respect for Obama. Don't get, me, don't get it wrong. Hey, it's just, I just can't stand. I can't stand when black men, bro, can't give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand. I ain't got no problem with you because you're a Republican. My problem come in with you because you feel like you feel like you better than him. But you came from the same dirt that he came from. Your parents struggled the same way that his parents struggled. But you want to sit up here. You want to defy all the lessons that your father taught you, that your mother taught you. And you want to sit up here and, and oh, I'm rich. So I ain't got to worry about the middle class. I ain't got to worry about the poor class. I'm rich. All my policies go focus on me and my lifestyle. And I can't I can't get with that, bro. Like, you ain't never supposed to forget where you came from. No, you know no. what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't grow up the way you grew up, bro, you wouldn't have became the famous surgeon that you are now. Your struggle yeah, made you be you know, like you are. Politics, though, you know, that's why, you know, it's kind of, it's a, it's a touchy subject because, you know, I'm not Democrat. I'm not Democrat. I'm a black man. Because I feel like I don't want the government in my life. Let me live my life. If I want to be a nigga out here with no health insurance, and if I want to be a nigga out here that ain't got nothing going, let me be that. Let me be that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no assistance from y'all. Don't come in my life. Don't intervene with me. Don't interfere with me. You know, I want to live a free life. If you want to live out in the country and just shoot motherfuckers. If I, if I want to be a nomad and just live on the land, right, let me do that. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, I do agree with them helping certain individuals that need it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking them from them. That's just something that I feel like I should be able to. Uh, I know the Affordable Care Act was good because it helped a lot of people with pre-existing conditions that couldn't get health care at first. They're able to get it now because uh, insurance companies aren't allowed to deny them type of people. But um, the people like me, like I said, who just don't want the health insurance. I don't want it. When I die, shit, put me in a box and do whatever. I don't give a fuck. I, I fuck the hospital. Guess what? When I get sick, I'm going to do what I can. When I, if, I don't, if I don't want no treatment, I don't want no treatment. That's on me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all shouldn't force nobody to <coughs> have to do that. <coughs> um, the Republicans. Um, I agree with some of their policies, but I can't say I agree with everything. Because, um, you know, some of them tax breaks we do kind of need because the Democrats got the working man. Like, they just made it. Um, there's a difference. If you look at your check, if you pay, if, you don't, if you're not filing zip on your uh, taxes, it's a difference. You're paying more now this year than you was last year. And there should be a difference on your paychecks if y'all, anybody that works a regular job, uh, you should see a difference on your check this year. Um, they take it out of more than they normally do. And then you're getting less back at the end of the year also. Um, they say this year already, um, returns have been down maybe almost 9, 10% than it was, than it was last year. Speaking of that, um, speaking but of that, so, so, so I mean, who, to me, Boy, were you saying there was a Democratic policy or a Republican policy? The, uh, that's what the, um, now, yeah. This is the Republican Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, oh, yeah, because yeah, I'm like, cause, yeah, that's the Republican Party. Yeah, because I'm like, and that's what I'm saying. Like that, that's the issue, right? The now. Democrats used to hit the bridge a little more. Yeah, exactly. Now me, the Republicans are like, we're gonna hit the pole. Yeah. yeah, and to me, I feel like that's how it's supposed to be because 
the rich don't make the economy spend, bro. The rich don't spend money. You understand what I'm saying? The rich invest money. There's a difference from investing money and spending money. You can only the uh, the economy can only grow when you spend money, right? Well, you know, so, it was something a lot of entertainers I heard. Like I remember Cardi B was just saying the other day on the uh, Instagram. I was noticing and she said that you know as an entertainer, any check they make, the, the government would tax them half of that yeah. out the gate. Yeah. So if they yeah. make three million dollars, they only getting one point five. Yeah. If they make a million dollars, they only getting five hundred thousand. And then you know on top of that, they gotta take care of their whole family. Yeah. They yeah. take care of. They so don't, man. I, so this little Bob White situation you was talking about. So motherfucker, he got his ass beat by his bed. But like, so any of y'all business domestic with y'all with, with women? I went, I went over to my baby mama's house. Just wanted to see my son. I hadn't seen him in a while. So I get over there and she was just real upset. You know what I'm saying? You can't see your son. I mean, I'm not letting you see your son. Fuck you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm like, why are you acting like this? I just want to see my son. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got something for you. She put her shoes on. She walked over to her car. She pulled out this baseball bat. Swing, hit me with the bat. I pulled out my phone because I knew she was on something, so I put it on record. Boom, she hit me with the bat. So I tried to grab the bat. When she hit me with it, boom, she, I took the first hit and I just grabbed the bat to take it from her. Then she came with a taser, and started tasing me Damn, in my arm. Hold on, so hold on, hold on. Hold on. So hold on. This motherfucker had a bat. Bat first. Then boom, she hit, hit, hit me with a taser when I snatched the bat. So I'm okay, like, shit. So I'm like, damn. So then I'm like, I'm gonna take this taser without hitting up, without hitting up with this bat or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm trying to take the taser. One of the neighbors said, so he came out there and kind of broke up. I called the police because I had it all on film. And um, police pull up. You know what I'm saying? And she tried to play victim. She got the cry. Yeah. Oh my God, he had my home. So the police looking at me like, oh, you're finna lock up, dumbass. I said, I'm I'm away. I recorded everything. Here you go. He looked at that tape. They say, oh, sorry, Terry, you know, you locked me up for domestic assault. First degree, uh, I mean, armed criminal action, um, unlawful use of a weapon. Oh, yeah. Mm. I got now, now, well, now, now, hold on real quick, bro. I want to give all my black men a quick a quick lesson in possession, right? Because so many times when we dealing with baby mamas, we feel like we ain't got no options. We feel like we ain't got no, no, no type of help. But the thing is, possession is not a tenth of the law. If you and your baby mother do not have a custody agreement, that means whoever that child is in possession of, that's who that child can stay with. So if you go over there and you grab your child and you call the police, the police lawfully cannot remove that child out of your possession. Then until you guys go to court and the court decide who that child has to be with. So I want y'all to know, bro, if y'all really want to be in y'all kid's life and the baby mother is being vindictive and being nasty and being mean and trying to keep y'all, go over there on some sly shit, grab your kid, call the police. Just like do that. It, it. Nigga, hey. That's some real shit, though. Don't give them back. Yep. Don't give them back. <laughs> Look, because it's, it's not kidnapped because y'all don't have a custody agreement. Right? It's only kidnapped when you have a custody agreement and the judge say the child has to be with this person ah, okay, or right. this person. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Now, what if you do that? You, 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 you take your child and then she come back and do the same thing. That's why you don't let her in. <laughs> you, you, you do not. You should do that. Because they will do that, bro. Because when the police break it down to them, she'll call you, oh, I'm sorry, I want to do this. And you think you're going to get some pussy. But she'll come boom, boom. Oh, <laughs> no. Go. Oh, none of this. Go. 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 She's going to be going. And then she's going to call the police. That's what I'm saying. It ain't even got to necessarily be at your house. What it can, what it can be at the school. Like, okay, I'm going to go over Look, her. when you, when you go to my her. baby from school. So, so school that's girl. what I'm saying. That's the thing. That's, 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 that is the thing, right? When that child go to school, either you have to tell the school, and the school really going to have to fuck with it. We going through some things. No, 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 no. With me, she not allowed to come get her. That's, the That's some shit. Because, because, because the woman gonna do that. Yeah. The woman gonna go up there be like, don't you know? I'm not with the father yes, right now. We're deep and they, you and know what I'm saying? The, the, school, the school will probably be more like, all right, if the man go up there and be like, all right, me and my woman, we, me and my baby mom, we going through some things. Don't let her come up here and get. Her baby. The school don't want to be liable school, for shit. The school gonna yeah. be like, no, no sir, I, no, 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 they, they don't want to be liable for shit. So if you come up there and you tell them this is what's going on, don't do this, don't do that. If they don't call me first and let me know, like, hey, you know, the mother's up here, 
She's trying to get the baby. I'm like, don't give it to him. I'm on my way. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do that, then I'm going to sue your ass because I gave you a verbal command of not to hand my child out to this person. But you don't the know social this worker kid not to with schools and the social worker will tell you that mother has just as much right to that child. Not when that child is in my worker, possession. A social worker that overrides possessions. No, 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 a social worker, because possession is law. A social worker has a job. That's yeah. it. But then that's it. it. But when it comes to the school, or they're in a hospital. That's, that's because... Your child got hurt and went to the hospital. The that's, a, that's, a different, that's a different situation, though. The hospital and a social worker, that's a different... Because you got to think, a hospital deal with blood, deal with genetics, so they need information from both sides of the parent, right? But a social worker don't. A social worker can only go by the law. But the law says that this child is in my possession and we don't have a court order saying that, saying that, saying that I can't be with this child, then you ain't finna tell me. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna gonna school possession. That's but, but when you go up there, but when you go up there, so the school ain't finna call social 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 workers only get called when it's some type of child endangerment. This is not a child endangerment situation. You know what I'm saying? This is a because. this is yeah, this is a custody situation. So if I notify the school first, like, hey, this is what's going on, call me up when they decided, like, oh, they had a documentation. They, they got right. exactly yeah. they gotta okay. call me. They gotta call me now, and let me know. Now because I'm, now they because now you finna be liable. Oh um, bitch, you you let this woman kidnap my child, open the school the school system. Yeah, she could be schizophrenic. Exactly. Anything, right? Anything. Now I hey. Two things, man. One, shout out to Hennessy Black, because this motherfucker got niggas fast. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, what y'all getting y'all gas for Valentine's Day? Oh, y'all, the woman y'all fucking. Shit. <laughs> hey, I've been buying Valentine's Day presents since last week. My hey, shout out to all the couple. Hey, hey, what y'all think been, about this? Now, do y'all think that y'all Valentine's? What do you think that woman <laughs> should get a man for Valentine's Day? Not a damn thing, some pussy. No, that's the problem. 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 That's the That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the 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 problem. That's the 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 That's the Zero. Uh, I know me. Hey, y'all need to Damn right. Damn right. I want to hey. I'm going to fuck with a good ass team. Hey, 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 I want some chocolate, yeah, I want some tea, bro. Yeah, I want it all, oh, bro. Ain't nobody trying to send shit to my dog. So I can walk up and be smiling on this shit. Hey, 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 now, no, no, I feel like she was trying to is for the one. Fuck no. I mean, yeah, Follow me to that trap. 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 Follow me to that trap, bro. I don't want no more. Every nigga that's watching me don't believe that shit. Because we ain't gonna never get shit. So check it out. You just said you got a girl, okay? Yeah, If she don't give you nothing. Or are you upset? No, I ain't gonna be like, oh, so I got you Fuck all this shit, you ain't gonna give me nothing. You ain't gonna give me nothing. Hey, 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 I'm gonna say something. Hey, I'm gonna say something. I'm say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say 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 but she come dressed up with some large white things. You look better than your kids you anyway. Right. That's what you look like. But guess what? Okay. That don't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> you you look, got me fucked up. You, you look better than my t shirt. Yeah. 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 You know what I like? Yeah. I'm going to call her best friend up and we have a threesome. That's what I'm saying. If that pussy don't come with another lane, that ain't no deal. That ain't no deal. That ain't no deal. He said, that's love. Somebody 
different. Hell yeah, you better come out with a multicolored ring. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what you do. You better make me think you different as a motherfucker. Hey, you, 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 you better you put my shit spin on and put it back hey. in the Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you know, so, you got to do the shit she do on the Exactly. I don't want none of this side booty. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that little stripper shit. Don't do that 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 shit. Uh, yeah, because uh, you know what I'm saying. I, I think it's a, it's a look with guys that's married or guys that's with. Cause I, I I've been married, bro. I've been married for ten years, man. Shout out to that man. I, I, I shout out to that man. Ten years, man. Shout out to that 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 man. I feel like niggas only sending files when they fuck up. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I do this shit, your birthday, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Anniversary or some shit. But just to send you flowers, just to send you flowers, I ain't with that shit, because I ain't no sentimental ass nigga for one. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, but I had to evolve because she a sentimental woman, right? So I had to do some of the shit that she that she wanted me to do, you know, because it made her happy. So I started doing the shit because it made her happy. But at the end of the motherfucking day, on Valentine's, I had to tell her, I'm like, well, I want some of this shit in return too. Like, I want to yeah, make sure that I want to make sure that you love me on this day as yeah, much as I'm supposed to love you, you on this yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the same way with our anniversary, right? Yeah, yeah. If I'm only supposed to give you gifts, you ain't supposed to give me no gifts. How you think that gonna make me feel? I ain't gonna vocalize it because I'm a nigga. Well, I'm yeah. a hard ass nigga. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, a I ain't gonna speak so on it. I ain't gonna vocalize it. Yeah, but inside, you like, yeah, 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 I got all these rules right to make you happy. And I call them rules because that's what they really are. Like they ain't no they ain't mandatory, but in my mind they are mandatory. If I want to stay with you and I want to be with you, you I'm gonna look at them as rules. I'm gonna look at them as rules. So if you tell me you need flowers and, and this and that. Just because type of shit, then I'm going to do it like that. You know what I'm saying? If you say, hey, baby, help me wash these dishes sometimes when I'm tired, I'm going to help you do that. So in yeah. return, the only thing that I ask for you is show that same type of love to me on these special days. I ain't asking for just because shit. But on, on Valentine's Day, on anniversary, show me that same type of love that I show you. Uh, because yeah. I got to do shit for you 365 days, 360 yeah. days a year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So show me that same type of love I just for you. one day. Hey, now that's, hey, that's yeah. a very beautiful thing. I respect. I respect that. Hey, I'm trying to be like that one day, boy. I see it. I see it. <laughs> hey, hey, that's an OG hey, in the house, man. I think, I think somebody just do a little sneak shout out out there. Okay. Like, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Sure. That's what it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, uh, hey, what we uh, like to give a shout out, say what y'all uh, definitely get into. I know I said you uh, definitely fuck with Beats. You uh, yeah. might want to give them a little. Yeah, my name is Blue Beats, man. I'm half of Game Runners, man. We a uh, production team, you know, uh, production team, engineer, all that. Man, you can follow us on Instagram at Game Runners at Blue Beats 314, man. Fuck with me. So you follow me, Travel Z Lo, just a real ass nigga. That's Instagram, try T R Y one. That's the number one Z Lo Z dash L O C. You hear me? Shit, and then I mean, I do some gaming shit. I got four boys. Only me and my three boys. You know, it's at a ten, eight, and five. You know what I'm saying? So we got on the gaming channel, and we be on playing Fortnite, Call of Duty, shit, Apex Legends, all of that. So just follow me, bro. Zarell Z E R E L L. Damn right, damn right. And you know, we know I already know about me wrong, wrong. You know, y'all can hit me up at jsales314 at gmail.com. Um, y'all know I provide the uh, vehicle service contracts if you need an extended warranty on your vehicle. You know, that's what we do. We, uh, um, you know, help you get you covered. So if you have any breakdowns in the future, you want to come out of your pocket. Um, like I said, just call me. You can call me on my cell phone, 314-341-7319. Hit me on my email, man. It's all good. All right. Shit, nigga. Hey, now when the big ass bitches call me, <laughs> 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 my number public. My number public anyway. My number been public for the last ten years.
Lakers. But not to the Lakers, bitches. No, no, no shit, no disrespect. No, I'm saying no. Y'all got tax stuff. Hey, the same thing, bro. Got taxes coming. Y'all tripping. See, that's why I like being single, because they can call me. Fat bitches can call me skinny bitches. Hey, I didn't say no fat. I got as long as you ain't white. I just said ugly. As long as you ain't white or Chinese. Oh, so you don't fuck with them white bitches? I'm fucking white or Chinese bitches. Especially Chinese bitches. I fuck with white girls for Chinese. Damn, I don't go with Chinese bitches. I don't go to beauty supplies or none of that. So you don't fuck with Chinese bitches more than you don't fuck with white girls. I fuck with white girls. White girls. Way more than Chinese bitches. I would have a white girl to play before Chinese bitches. I fuck with Chinese cat dogs. I don't fuck with them other ass girls, man. I fuck with Chinese girls.